Okay, so another management question. Steroids, physical therapy, surgery, NSAIDs, or immobilization? So maybe a musculoskeletal question. Let's see. Um, 40-year-old man comes to the PCP with a four-month history of persistent pain inner side of his left elbow. Pain is aggravated by repetitive wrist and forearm movements, such as lifting objects or gripping tools at his job as a carpenter. Physical exam reveals tenderness over the medial epicondyle and pain with resistive flexion. Patient is diagnosed as the patient with medial epicondylitis. What's the initial management? So you already gave, he already gave us a diagnosis. Okay. Um, what do we want to do for this? I mean, I'm thinking mostly like rest, um, um, steroid injection. You wouldn't really need to do that. Um, physical therapy, I mean, could always be helpful, but um, in this case, you're not really... I mean, it's an overuse injury, so you kind of want to rest it instead of doing more therapy to like improve mobility or anything like that. Definitely not going to do surgery. Um, splint immobilization. I mean, I guess, I mean, I don't think you would necessarily do that for a medial epicondylitis. Maybe I'm already like stuck on the answer, so I'm like ruling everything else out. But yeah, I go with the rest dice. Yeah, it's going to be the best here uh, for medial epicondylitis, right? Or golfer's elbow, right? So best thing is you're going to want to rest first because you're going to over aggravate it by using it too much. Um, it's always a little bit interesting, right? Um, with these kind of questions, because PT um, is always going to be a good answer. So always keep that in your back pocket. Um, there are some, um, some musculoskeletal diagnoses that is due to imbalance of muscles. And so PT there will be a lot better than um, rest, you know, your, your rice therapy, right? Um, so always keep that in the back of mind. But yeah, here, because they tell you, you know, specifically in the stim that he keeps using it over and over, and now he's having, you know, media epicondylitis, right? And so he just really needs to lay off uh, on those repetitive motions and it should relatively get better. But down the line, physical therapy to strengthen your counter muscles to kind of stabilize that area can help too. But just always in your mind with musculoskeletal um, to think that physical therapy is always somewhere somewhere on the, the management. So, so you would do a split if it's like fractured or like something yeah. just yeah i would say only like broken bones or anything but anything that's like soft tissue wise meaning you know muscles things like that um there's a lot of good studies that say like immobilization is not it's not good because you'll have a lot of muscle atrophy and stuff so that's why like nowadays like pt physical therapy is a lot of the times answers on the you know on the test itself or in real life right because you'll you'll start to realize as we get better and better that understand the mechanics of muscles and things like that that you know, injuries, um, muscle fatigue, muscle soreness, muscle cramping, et cetera, right? That's due to usually imbalance or weakening of one set of muscles compared to other causing you issues. And so physical therapy is going to be good, but, you know, splints and immobilization, that's really for like, you know, you're talking about fixation of bones and things like that, but you really don't want to, you know, in my mind, I can't, I'm, you know, I'm not an ortho guy, but in my mind, right, there's very few um, scenarios on a soft tissue standpoint that you really want them to not move it. You know what I mean? Because that's just going to make it worse in the long run. You're going to have a lot of atrophy. So 